Hi guys, so this is my first voiceover video on YouTube and I hope to do a lot more of these in the future. This video will just be a screen recording of my process of painting in Clip Studio Paint. I'll just be walking you guys through and explaining the stages of my drawing. So the first step of the process is to start a sketch. And here I don't really go too deep into details, I just want to capture the rough shape of everything. This is because I like to leave the details for the painting stage. And it also allows me to focus on the bigger picture and not get too caught up in all those small details. So next I start in color blocking, which is laying out the rough colors beforehand. This is so that I can focus purely on the tonal values and the colors. It also gives me an idea of what the finished piece is going to look like. You can see that I'm using pretty big brush strokes and this is just to speed up the process. It's okay if it looks messy because we're going to go and fix all that later. I'd also like to take 30 seconds to thank the sponsor of this video, Fograce. Fograce is a company that makes custom products for you to sell. There is such a wide range of products including acrylic standees, acrylic clips, pen holders, and acrylic keychains. The quality is also really good for its cheap price. I am so so happy with how these came out. You can make an order from their website and they also have a low minimum order quantity so you can get samples. For more details, please visit their website, link in description. And now back to the video. So after the color blocking stage, we're gonna go straight into those details. And so I started with the toast part here. Using the sketch as a guideline, I'm just painting the rough shape of the toast and putting in the shadows. For this, a brush that has pressure opacity is recommended. I don't really blend colors together, I actually just lay colors next to each other that smoothly transition in into each other. Now I'm starting to add all those little highlights, which is my favorite part. It adds a lot more detail and conveys the texture of the syrup on the bread. Next, I'll be adding in the icing sugar, and for this, I use a variety of different brushes. All of the brushes that I use will be linked in my Instagram highlights, so you can check it out there. I also like to add a variety of hues into the painting, so as you can see, the shadows have like a blue hue in them. This means that they're complementary to the orangish brownish shades of the bread and it just helps bring out the colors much more. I think what makes this piece look so realistic is all the different textures in it, such as the glaze on the fruits and the powderiness of the icing sugar. If you want to get into realistic painting, I recommend studying how to convey different textures and different techniques to paint them. The last stage of my drawing process is painting the background and I don't spend too much time here because I'm gonna blur it out anyways. And that's the full process of my food paintings. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm planning to do more of these soon and I hope you look forward to them.